Hi guys, it's Davin here at brewbits.com. Now behind the camera as always, we've got James. Say hello, James. Today I thought we would brew up a cider kit. And the one I'm gonna brew today is an on the rocks cider kit. And very nice they are too, I've brewed them before. However, when I brew a cider kit up like this, you normally add uh, some sugar to it and top it up to 23 liters with water. And I tend to find that can be a little bit on the thin side. So what I normally like to do is use two kits with no added sugar. Pour those both into the fermenting vessel, top it up to 23 litres and it's done. However, I'm going to try something different today. Today, we're going to be using apple juice. And we're going to be substituting the majority of our water for apple juice. So apple juice um, contains sugar naturally. And in this carton here, there's um, 10 grams of sugar per 100 ml of um, apple juice. How do I know that? Well, you can read on the side, it says in the nutrition carbohydrates of which sugar, 10 grams per 100 ml. Simple as that. So you know, every 100 ml in there, there's 10 grams of sugar. That's a litre, that works out to be 100 grams of sugar in this apple juice. Now this kit here, I need to add 1.3 kilos of sugar. So let's do the maths and it's quite simple. I need to add 13 um, litres of apple juice. And that's not actually that expensive. Um, it's coming in at about 86p for a litre of apple juice from the supermarket where I bought this. You may be able to buy it cheaper at your local supermarket. Um, I've just gone with the cheap Asda stuff. It's made from concentrate. Come on in, back in James, have a look at this. It just says ingredients, apple juice from concentrate. So the other thing we're looking out for on that ingredients list is something called potassium sorbate. If it lists potassium sorbate, you cannot use that apple juice. Uh, that potassium sorbate is a uh, preservative and it will stop the yeast from fermenting it. So straightforward apple juice, you can use the really expensive ones from like um, oh, uh, Innocent, um, or you can use, as I'm doing here, the more cheaper stuff. Right, so I'm gonna get my fermenting vessel sterilized and then we'll come back and we'll throw it all in and get it going. The first thing we're gonna do, pop our lid off and in our lid, We've got a couple of things. We've got our sachet of cider yeast and nutrient. And we've also got a sachet of uh, cider flavoring. Well, we're not using that. We've got all this and this to add all the flavor we need to. So, get the tin out there. The reason why I'm not worried about using apple juice from concentrate in the cartons is because we're using apple juice from concentrate in here. So the next thing we need is six pints of boiling water. So I'm going to put my kettle on. I boiled my kettle, I measured three pints of my jug and the first thing I'm going to do just put some in the can and we can use that to rinse the can out. The rest is going in there and I'm gonna put my kettle back on. But before I do that, I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna use it to rinse all of the extra apple juice that's in that can. And so I don't burn my fingers. In that goes. Right, I still need uh, three more pints of boiling water, so I'm gonna put the kettle back on. Cool, so that's our six pints of boiling water gone into our can of on the rocks cider. Give it a little stir to mix everything up. 
And now the instructions would normally say top it up to 23 litres with water. But of course, as I said, we're swapping the water for apple juice. So that's our 13 litres of apple juice added to our buckets. I'm just gonna give it a good stir together. But if I raise it up now, you'll see we're still a little bit short of the 20 litres, let alone the 23. So we're now gonna to top this up with the remainder to 23 litres with cold tap water. Right, so that's all the water added and stirred in. I calculated that I actually needed an extra 5.1 litres after I added the six pints of boiling water, the can of on the rock cider, the 13 litres of apple juice meant there was 5.1 litres of tap water needed. I've taken a sample in the trial jar and it's coming out at a specific gravity of about 1.046 which is lying perfectly in line with what the can says. The can says it should be about 5.9% and if this ferments out to join us that will mean it will come out at about 5.96% so we're smack on. Perfect. All we're going to do now, open the packet of yeast and sprinkle it on. Put this in our warm cupboard and then in about a week, week and a bit, uh, it should have finished fermenting so we'll check it with a hydrometer. We'll pop it in our, some bottles uh, with a little bit of priming sugar, fizz it up and we'll start drinking it. And then I'll make another video and let you know how it tastes. For now, have fun, happy brewing and see you next time.